yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. Are you kidding me? I saw so many shoes out and I just went, why not me? Yeah. My name's Jaden Duke of the Wicked, what happened to you say Clown Posse? And you're watching Clownvis to the Rescue! I thought you knew! Woo woo! And it starts right now! Oh. Stop the confetti. Thank you. Thank you. What a crowd. What a crowd. 
Thank you all so much for joining me on this very special night. You got to settle down. Everybody's got to settle the hell down. Thank you very much. I see the chats are uh, blowing up. Everybody is very excited. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a hell of a catch tonight on Clownish to the Rescue. One of my homies and a homie to people across the world, across the globe. The Southwest Stranglers in the house tonight. My man Shaggy 2 Dope is going to be on the show in just mere moments. Talking about mere moments away. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I see we have some new people in the chats tonight. I'd like to say, where the hell have you been? But thank you for catching up. Appreciate that you're here. I'm very excited to talk to Shaggy, so uh, we're not going to do too much up top tonight, all right? I want to get right into it with this guy because he's, uh, he's a deep well of talent and uh, laughter and so many uh, things that people appreciate this guy for. I'm going to unmute him right now. I'm going to ask you to unmute there. There you go. You'll do that. And uh, we got you. We don't got you. Not yet. All right. Now you got me. baby. There he is. Hey, there I am. (laughs) All right. What's up, homie? Oh, hey. Everything's all good on this end, man. You know, it, it's 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 nice being on a streaming whatever the fuck we're on, uh, and not having technical difficulties for once. Yeah, man. Listen, I'm uh, I'm absolutely <laughs> absolutely plagued with them here. So uh, it's a miracle that we've gotten this far, man. If this is it, we'll just stop the show now. Maybe we should do that. Just wrap it up. It, right, man. I mean, we're on a good roll. We'll just fucking end it on the good roll. All saying? right. Well, thanks, no, no man. No technicals. Thanks, man. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, man. It was good seeing you. <laughs> We're out. Jeez, man. How you doing? You've been doing good, it looks like. ICP has been all over the place on a on a media blitz. You guys have been on every podcast on, on the damn phone, man. It's crazy. Yeah, we we um we went out and did a bunch of podcasts. We um went out to uh, L.A. and did a few and then we did Juggalo Weekend, and then uh, then we went out to Austin and did some, and then um, yeah, yeah man, it was it was a fucking um, whirlwind romance. I missed you in L.A. by one day, man. I I left the morning that uh, you guys got there. I think I missed you over uh, recording stuff with a homie Sean Barrett. Yeah, yeah, cause um, what the fuck day was that? I don't know. It was one of the days know. we were there. We were yeah. there for a few days, but I was real geek to link up with him. You know what I'm saying? Cause Man, you talk about a talented motherfucker, man. You know, yeah. uh, with the green screen and just the fucking funny shit in, in general. Sean Barrett, a.k.a. Uncle Juff. Uncle Juff. You know what I mean? I, I, I Let me tell you something, man. When I'm chilling with him and we're like when I'm because I had him on my stream on the Shaggy show. Yeah. And, and I don't think I ever laugh that hard as when I'm chilling with him. You know what I'm saying? Just I feel you, man. The shit. Yo, that's why. It's just like one of those, that gut laugh shit. You yeah. Know? Yeah, man. That's the, I, I la- I'm the same way. I laugh with him like uh, I laugh with nobody else. So it's. Uh, Did you ever see his? Did you ever see his creepy old hands? Yeah, he's got old hands. You know what, man? Holy the, fuck! One of the first times we were hanging out, or we we had done something, we made something, and it took a picture of me, and I said, "Man, my hands look old." He goes, no, look at this. And he showed me his old hands. He had real old hands. I go, damn. They're like brittle old witch hands. They're, they're amazing. <laughs> it makes him special. He's like a hobbit of some kind or like a different species. Like a reverse hobbit, yeah, because it's his hands, yeah. not his feet. And and they're not like hairy and big. They're small and feet. Like a hobbit that made a wish and became a beautiful juggalo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he wished for the wrong thing. He was like, uh, I just don't want... People are looking at my feet no more, so they're getting fucked up ass hands, and they're looking at those now. He's watching right now, no. saying they're not that bad, man. <laughs> hey, he's just like, why in the fuck? So far, they've been talking for about five minutes, and the whole thing's been about my hands. What's going on over here? Oh man, that's mainstream news. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love going out to LA and, and, and hooking up with him always. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, uh, I'm about to be going um, on the road in. Um, Coming up in like two weeks, I'm gonna be uh going across Canada, 
and then some of us, a little bit of America too, the last week of that too, last week of April. That's right. And, the, um, the quest for the ultimate groove tour. Been going, that's right. The that's last, like a, the last little leg of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like and, the twenty uh, fourth. Like, it's like the twenty fourth or twenty fifth leg. You've been just adding legs to this thing for a year now. Yeah, man. It's like an octopus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mad legs. And um, then after that, it, it, we got about like four or five days off. Then we're headed back across America. Uh, from east to west and back uh, on the Psychopathic Soldier Tour. Nice. And uh, and that's where uh, I was going to say, uh, I know that um, Sean's going to come out like for a week or so. We're out there. We're going to film some dope-ass shit. Hell like that, yeah. You know what I'm he's a good road so, buddy, yeah. too. He's he's a good road dog. He's a good hang. No, that's good. We got a bunk for him waiting. You nice. Nice. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, man, it's been good to see you guys on all these podcasts. It seems like ICP is uh, more in demand than ever after three decades of being the world's most hated band. You guys are getting some uh, some kind of mainstream credit. People, yeah, are, people are looking at it it's, differently. It's, yeah, of course. Yeah, and it's 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 um it's taken a minute to get used to. You know what I'm saying? But it but it feels pretty good. Not not um uh, I mean whatever. You know, there, there's like the kind of uh hate you get like when you're a bad guy in wrestling yeah which is like a positive hate you know what i'm saying like oh i love that guy because he he's he's bad you know yeah. what i'm saying and then there's the kind of fucking hatred we got <laughs> our whole career you know what i'm saying which was from the gut people like they fucking hated us we yeah. could never figure it out neither no. you know what i'm saying even if you didn't like our music i don't understand why people just hated us so fucking bad no but I the know. thing is We've been up in that ass for so long, constantly, since we came out back in the day. We just never have stopped. You know, we never took a hiatus. We never fucking took a couple of years never. off. Never. You know and you took, I mean, and you've you've done nothing but take the the music industry on. I mean, I mean, since day one, you've been uh, uh, soldiers. And since you know, day uh, since day one, we get, we got blacklisted from MTV, and that pretty much brought the house of cards down as far as being blacklisted from anything industry related you know right. what i'm saying and once that happened we were like you know what fuck all that we don't need that we can do all this shit ourselves you know and i think that's that's we've been doing it on such a consistent basis for so many fucking years you know like our first record came out like our first professional record came out in 1991 you know what i'm saying those dog Damn. beats yeah the ep and what the fuck is it now? Like fucking a hundred years later. It was a hundred you know years ago today, yeah. It, <laughs> right. <laughs> Actually, today marks seventeen years ago we came out with our record, The Tempest. You know it's crazy. Damn! Congratulations! Happy what I was anniversary. You, you know, it seems like every other week there's another record of ours turning twenty or some <laughs> shit. It's like fuck, man. You guys <laughs> put the work. You guys put the work in. Old man. asses. You guys but, put the but work I, in. I I think it was just a matter of of it's it's just undeniable that we're still up in that ass and i think that um all the all the people from back in the day that like blacklisted us and fucking hated our guts like for real style especially the industry motherfuckers you know yeah they're all out of the business now they all retired you know yeah. what i'm saying they're all were like in their prime in the 90s and shit you know what i'm saying and yeah, nowadays, in the 2000s, and stuff. yeah and right so i mean think about it the, the fucking the 90s the end of the 90s was a quarter century ago almost 25 years ago you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. actually 99 was 25 fucking years ago holy shit that's wild know? man so all, all those dudes that were already like in their 60s and 70s running this shit back then they hated us they're all dead now yeah good. <laughs> you know what i mean and now all the youngsters that were young back then are now in positions where like you know what i'm saying and and it's turned around like i said like uh people in the industry are like holy shit they're still around and they can't do nothing but respect it you know yeah. what i'm saying because you know it, it's 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 undeniable Unde undeniable you know, for, and I you guys I don't know because of the because of the, the the solid uh constant branding of who you are and what you are powered by juggalos which are the bi the biggest phenomenon maybe ever to happen in the music industry honestly i mean outside of uh you know mainstream exposure with, with you know the frank sinatras and elvises right. i mean to to create a subculture like that part of the machine right it's uh i um, mean it's it's the same thing as as as, uh, as big as punk rock or any sub genre of music but it's it's specifically powered by you guys you know what's dope? I, I think that juggalos are, are such a big thing now that um you could take ICP out of the whole equation and there's still gonna be juggalos no yeah, matter what. You know what I'm saying? Is, yeah. It's like 
our music could I don't I don't fucking I know this would never happen, but in some weird alternate universe, ICP could be canceled in the Juggalo fucking universe. You know what I'm saying? But Juggalos will still remain when we're fucking long gone. Yeah, you know it's I mean? it's a deep culture, man. You know, and I mean, uh, I got involved with you guys maybe five or six years ago, and uh, I never knew how fucking deep it went, and how yeah. creative these motherfuckers are, and how sweet people are, and how. Uh, uh, what a motivate! I'm, I'm more than anything. I'm motivated by Juggalo culture. I mean, uh, they've everybody in the Juggalo world has been more than more than nice and accepting to me since the first time I, I stepped on stage with you guys or at the gathering or anything. Um, and I think that goes for anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a lot of people are afraid to go to any kind of juggalo events, especially like the gathering. You know what I'm saying? Sure. If you're not a juggalo and you've just heard like it's oh legendarily God, out of yeah, their legendarily scary. But when you go there, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Juggalos will go out of their fucking way to to show you a good time, to show you that motherfuckers ain't all insane and will fucking cut you or something. Out of their you know way, what I'm man. It's better They'll than be like, fuck no, here goes a fucking hot dog in the water. You know what I'm saying? What <laughs> up, though, you know? Not to <laughs> say that Not to say that crazy shit doesn't happen, because I have seen more than Well, of course, it's a than, festival. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, no, if, if anybody, you know, people are only uh, hurting themselves. If not, you know, nobody's yeah. nobody's out to get you. Well, I mean, you, you got that many people in one spot that are partying for fucking four days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, people fucking cut loose, and they fucking do crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? You go to any festival that's going yeah. down. You yeah. know what I mean? Maybe a, maybe a step know, above crazy. Four days of drinking and getting high in the fucking hot sun. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some shit's going down. Sleeping you know? in the woods. Exactly. Yeah, getting bit up by ticks and chiggers and stuff. You know what <sighs> I mean? That's the way to go, man. I love Probably it. Probably got a hemorrhoid because you're <laughs> shitting in those dirty ass porta johns. You know, Wiping your ass with a poster. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, with all the fucking flyers you accumulated over the weekend. <laughs> shit man you know something i, I want to bring up uh, about the gathering because i'm sure you, i mean you probably hear you probably hear this endlessly because i hear it just having done the gathering five times i hear uh everybody wants to know what's the artists want to know what's the road to get on the gathering what's the road to get booked it's like a total status thing for people to get booked and they want to get booked on it and they ask me i'm like i don't you know look i don't know what the hell to tell you so there's, what would there, you say there, there's 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 no there's like no no like it's so random <laughs> you know it saying? is random like, as hell like, what you guys book is it's random like, it's as like hell. if one of us sees something and we're like holy shit that motherfucker's in effect or you know what I'm saying, or know somebody through somebody, yeah. Or you know what I'm saying, or or somebody that we've loved our whole life, you know, old rappers or rock dudes, whatever the fuck, yeah. Or somebody's in effect nowadays, you know. But um, you know, hit up. You just gotta you gotta like spam the shit out of fucking Rob. It's psychopathic, you know what I mean? He's the and, he's um, the he's the keeper of the he's of the one key of the books there, man. everybody. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, what I'm saying if he sees his shit and he notices. Either either your shit's just like left field unique, you know what I mean? Or like uh or or you're just doing ridiculous things, ridiculous numbers, and motherfuckers are just like, yo, you gotta peep this this person, you know? Yeah. It, it, like, and like I said, it's so random, you know what I'm saying? It, and it's like um It's so random. I mean, look at look at the lineups, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what, the, that's the what I wanted to point out too, man. The the lineups that you guys bring in from from legendary legacy acts that you won't even see anywhere else. You know, I, I got to bring up the Sugar Hill Gang last year, and and, and, right. and I got to watch fucking Arrested Development last year. You know, and, and those are like groups that I, I never right. thought I would see. But also, yeah. I've got to see Guar. I got to see Sponge. I, I mean, you guys bring just the most, uh, you know, George Clinton. I mean, just the most random things. Bobby that, fucking Brown. Yeah, Bobby you Brown. Know? Vanilla Ice. Hey, uh, I mean, the, fucking the, uh, who who the uh shit? What was this? I think this was in. 20 i don't know when the fuck it was i think uh, whatever the fuck it was i don't know what it was just it, one of the last few years cnc music factory oh i Come remember on, that, man. i don't know i missed the set but i remember seeing that I on the, the on the bill <laughs> shit but let me tell you so that dude frida williams right he's so used to being pg and yeah. shit right he's at the gathering and and you know the the old, uh, the roof the roof the roof is on fire he goes we don't need no water. Let that mother, mother burn. He wouldn't even say motherfucker. 
it was the fucking funniest shit I heard in my life. You know, I was like, only at the fucking gathering. You know? Yeah, man. You know, yeah, he can let it his guard dope, down. Man. It's like it's like there there's people like far and few between. Well, not far and few between, but a lot of motherfuckers like that. I, I'm just like so honored to fucking have their like legends like mix a lot. I like, got to bring up. I, I got to bring up mix a lot, man. That was a, a legendary moment for me. I mean, talk about a a guy that changed the game of of of, of hip hop and mainstream hip hop. I mean, he blew up yeah, and changed the whole game. That, that's what. That's one of ICP's big influences. Mix a lot. You know Hell what I'm saying? yeah. Yeah. And uh, be able to stand stand on the stage and watch his ass. You know, saying that that was incredible. You know, yeah. that, that was that was great. You know, and I got to take my picture with him and shit. I got it all. Hanging and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? His it's whole great. crew was nice, man. They were just, they. I mean, you could tell. They were just, they knew what they were doing, man. That's, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, man. They've been around, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's the whole thing that's always, like, stopped us from, like, kind of linking up with him before. He doesn't fly. He's one of those dudes that just doesn't oh, fly. okay. So you got to, like, get him ground transportation comfortably all the way from Seattle. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. And there's a lot of dudes like that, you know, but in rap. And just, I guess, like, there's some rock dudes. But, you know, you would think. Being in the entertainment industry as long as some of these guys have been, and you don't fly, that's that's crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know, it's man. Like, I guess you got, you get to pick his battles, man. That's that's crazy. But right? The, but yeah, the fact that you guys, that large, the yeah. fact that I can, you know, you can tell it's curated uh, by you, by Violent J, by Rob. I mean, you could tell like this isn't just. I mean, obviously, there's nothing corporate about the gathering. It's just you guys throwing a party, no. and you guys go. I feel like sitting you down sometimes and saying, you don't have to go as far above and beyond as you do. I, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Somebody does because every year, if if we do make it out of the red, it's just barely by a couple grand. You know what I'm saying? Like millions going but, to yeah, it. Yeah, and, and, uh, and, and the return are... is just not there. And, and, yep. and it's 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 funny. Well, it's not funny, but it's it's the truth that you you know there is no corporate sponsorships there. Yeah, nothing. It's all out of psychopathic's pocket. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And uh, to the point where uh, there was one year, a few years back, where we were sitting down and we were going over some shit with uh, Rob, and we we're like, look, man, maybe we bring in some like fucking sponsors, you know, just just to ease up some of the financial burden. Yeah. And he was just like, he was like, look, man. If we bring in any kind of sponsors, I'm out. I'm not doing it no more because that's not staying true to Juggalos. You know wow. what I'm saying? That's that's not what people are there for is to get shit shoved down their throat, sponsors and all that shit. Hell it's yeah. Like, I, I, I just won't do it no more if we're going to do it like that. And we're like, bet. Then let's keep losing money. Man, Rob, <laughs> Rob's such a guy, dude. Talk about a guy that's just been the coolest to me, man. I, I love him so much, and he is a mighty oak, man. That's cool. That's that's a cool story that he yeah. uh, that he said that. With that he's definitely stuck in uh, and, and like he's the type of dude. It, it's like every year we're like, Rob, man, look, we know nobody likes it, but we have to raise the fucking ticket price. You know what I mean? It's like this is fucking four days. Of fucking flavor, you know what I mean? Right. And, and and this is the cheapest thing going on the market. We have to at least raise it so we can cover our costs. Yeah. He wants to keep it like 1990 price. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and when you say like, look, when you say it's we packed can't with can't because fuck, man, we, we we won't be able to keep doing it if we if we keep it down. Right. Because when you say you it's packed I mean? with flavor, you mean literally. This isn't like a festival where the sun goes down and there's ten cool bands. It, we're talking from the time people get up you know at 10 a.m 11 or whatever 11 a.m uh the yeah. freshest shit happens all day long in all day every in, in every different part of the it's, of the grounds it's it's so much it's impossible to see it all if you're there it's impossible you know you you can't see everything you know I and would, that that's kind of like like we're just like fuck man you know it, it, and it has been stepped down since covid you know what i'm saying because it was just getting to the point where it was so much that you'd have to fucking have like fucking 10 clones of yourself to just right. catch like half the shit going on, you know? Right. And it's like, fuck man, everything's so spread out. So there's just be like people peppered everywhere, you know? So it's like, let's kind of reel it in. So more people can enjoy what they, you know, so they don't have to spread themselves so, so thin seeing everything. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. But you guys put the work in. I mean, I mean, you and Joe put the work in, man, because I'll see you guys there at, at noon when I'm kind of, you know, getting going. And then, uh, I'll see you at 4 a.m. on. I remember I seen you know, if like 4 a.m. on a big old tractor, like just yeah. just you two guys just driving driving away on a big yeah, old tractor. I, I, I usually like end up like 
being able to like actually lay down, lay my head on a pillow and go to sleep around six, six 30, sometimes seven in the morning. And then I had to be up by like 11 to get ready to fucking do the next day yeah. shit you and know save and so, have a, have a voice to do it, man. It's, it's not easy. Yeah, and that, that's the, that's the trick right there, you know, because, because in the past, by the time we, we would get to our show, yo, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And the worst part would be from driving around a lot, you know, on the cart with golf carts and shit, the dust. And, and it don't matter how fresh you are. You can't, you might not be yelling or even talking loud the whole time. But that dust gets in your throat. Oh, yeah. You're through, you Mother know? Earth just and, eating um, up your insides. Yeah, straight up. But, um, you know, there's techniques. And, and, you know, besides what we're doing all the time, which is constant, you know, I try to lay low in between. You know, back in the day, we used to drive around in carts a lot more and shit. Yeah. But I've realized if I do that, I won't have a voice to be on stage. You yep. know what I mean? So yep. it's it like puts, you got you to you pick and choose your battles. It you puts know? everything in check. It puts, puts my party in check, everything, man. You know what I mean? You got to be a professional and show up, man, because I have no lost, doubt. Like, I have ha- lost my voice. Ask, you know? Have to ask if they're, if they're performing like like one of the last couple of days and, um, and uh, they're there the whole time. Chances are they ain't going to, and they're like just out, you know what I'm saying, get live every day and shit. Chances are they they're not gonna have a fucking voice when they get on that stage. I've yeah. seen it so many fucking times. I've yeah. seen it more times than I haven't. I've li- seen it, I've li- I've lived with it. I had to, yeah. I've lived with it, man. <laughs> it's right. it sucks. It's 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 the wackest thing in the world. Just be like, you got no voice. Nothing you can do. You're powerless, man. Right. It's just like fuck. And it's <laughs> fucked. I got so much shit I want to say. <laughs> it's fucked, man. But you can't. Yeah, you can't. Nah, but but I I want to ask you that. And then the, like I, um I was just saying that my show. Go ahead, my bad. No, uh, if it was, it was about the. You wanna, I was just gonna switch gears from the. <laughs> I was gonna, I was uh, gonna switch gears from the gathering because I want to talk about how funny you are, and I think that goes overlooked. Uh, and not that it goes overlooked in the Juggalo community. People know that you're funny as fuck. But when people, everybody in the whole world knows Insane Clown Posse and what they imagine you are is not as funny as you are. You are so funny. And you're, 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 the, shag, the Shaggy show is amazing. Um, everything you've done content-wise, when you, uh, I'm going to show a picture real quick here. I got this pulled up. This is just last month. Shaggy dressed up like his cat. Look at that. Yeah. yeah Painted his face like a cat. <laughs> My homie Buttons. Yeah, that's what. I, and, you know, I can't tell you why the fuck I did that. I was just like, <laughs> I've been wanting to do it for a while. And I was just like, because I was like, wait a second. My fucking cat has black and white. The cat's a juggalo, I man. I, I could match my fucking cat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, Yo. I was like, oh, and then, then uh, so check it out. So then, um, how the, oh. Because one one of the um one of the uh podcasts I did was um uh I was getting a tattoo and doing a uh doing a uh podcast. What what's it fuck I, Scott um it's not out yet, so I don't know. I don't know yet. No, the, the the guy, Scott fucking um shit. Now I feel like an asshole because I can't remember his name. But that was the first time I met him, so Okay, I will. I'll definitely get it. He's looking at it. We'll edit but, that. Um, we'll edit this out. <laughs> you ain't got it. It's all good. Wait, we're live. What the fuck? <laughs> but anyhow, um, so um, I found out like a couple days before I went to L.A. It was like, okay, um, Scott Campbell. Scott Campbell. I, I got. Yeah, he's a world-renowned tattoo guy. I guess you know. So well, I didn't know at the time. Now yeah. there's no guessing. He is, you know. But um, and he does a, a podcast as well. You know. So um. My manager hit me up and he's like, um, hey, um, I'm going to be there in two days, right, to do this shit. He's like, would you want to get a tattoo? That's kind of like what they do on the podcast. I was like, I guess, you know what I mean? Sure, yeah. And so I'm like, fuck, what, what can I get? I don't I don't have no ideas for a tattoo. I was like, you know what? I'll fucking have the chat on the Shaggy show fucking come up with a tattoo idea and then I'll get whatever the fuck they vote for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in the end, so in the end, they voted for uh my cat buttons and Betty White. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's Betty White. Fuck this all back. But Betty White. I see. Yeah. And uh and my cat buttons. All uh, little stick figures. Stick body holding hands. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> so uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like fuck it. Let's go. Nah, hell <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? man. But that's that's the thing about my stream. I love I love letting the chat like kind of run 
on a lot of shit on it. You know yeah, like man. Choosing and figuring out where the fuck shit's going. You know what I'm saying? I, I like say to that, be as interactive as I can. You know? I, I should say that we got the chat going now and I got one eye on it. Everybody's, uh, I'm, not, I'm not acknowledging it as much as I should be, but uh, everybody's here right now. So everybody in the chat, thank you. You get wrapped much. up sometimes. It's hard sometimes. You get wrapped up you know and you I mean? get fired up. One one person will say something that, that sets me off and I'm like, damn, you just ruined <laughs> oh, my whole night. <laughs> Same shit. And you know what? I, I used to do um, live YouTube before I started the Shaggy show. Yeah. And, um, the whole the whole show would consist of the super chats you yeah. know what i'm saying so like it would just be non-stop but the cool part was that was the content of the whole fucking stream was super chats yeah just feeding just off that it. yeah and see my whole shit is this if somebody asks me a question or something i don't even screen it i i read it i don't even know what the fuck it's about to say i'll just read it and sometimes it burns you. Yeah, you're like, oh, fuck, I didn't need to see that, you know damn. <laughs> but, I, but I still, hey, it's, it's nowadays, it's all about, I don't give a fuck. I'll answer anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And and, and if I really don't want to tell you the truth, I'll fucking lie. Uh, yeah, why not? You're not <laughs> dealing with anybody face up. to face. People want to people play tough guy. You go ahead, man, make it up. No, I, but I, I, I lie in a funny way. I'll be like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'll say what, whatever. I'll tell you what, what you want to hear. <laughs> Yeah, man. Whatever. It's but you good. do, you do, you do crush it online, which is not even it shouldn't even be in the wheelhouse of a hip hop legend. You shouldn't even it shouldn't even be your duty. But you crush it online, man. You're hilarious. I, I, I love doing it, man. And it's crazy. I, I was I was like a, a fucking dinosaur with this shit until like the about the end of 2019. Same. I got a I got an Instagram account. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't. I I had no fucking idea what social media was even for. Right. I was like, what is this stupid shit? You know, just some old lame ass <laughs> old man style. Oh, I don't understand. Fire bad. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then once I started posting on Instagram and like figuring it out and shit and started streaming and doing vlogs and all that. Yeah. I was like, well, fuck, man. I used to do this before YouTube was a thing. You know what I'm saying? I have video shit on the road. Yeah. Put it out as a Shaggy show and on, those old, on the ICP the, sh the old Shaggy website. show and the, what was the, the, I was trying to think of the name of the old funny news show you guys used to do that was funny Oh, yeah, shit. the Weekly Freakly Weekly. Yeah, the Weekly right. Freakly Weekly, where you'd wear the wigs and shit. God damn. Yeah, Guy Gorf, Guy Gorfie. Guy Gorfie. And, peppers. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, so that, I so I'm that, Guy Gorfie. <laughs> I'm Fats Peppers. So I got to say, this is this is also go, going back real far, man, but the, the movies that you guys made, uh, Big Money Hustlers yeah. and Big Money Rustlers, I, I, I mean this hand to God that... Big Money Rustlers, the second one, the cowboy one, is yeah. one of my favorite movies, I, and it's it's so. it's so funny. And and you are like fucking James Dean, man. You are like a, you're a naturally good actor. I swear to God, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. I I I, I have no, uh, you know, I, I, gain, I gain nothing from. I might be cool with that though. You know? <laughs> Yo, but if if anybody I, anybody <laughs> shotgun up the ass. Anybody watching, go watch. I think you can watch them on YouTube, or, or you can stand in line in a tent and buy the DVDs at the gathering. But you can uh, find them somewhere. No, watch. actually, I think I think it's uh, I think it streams on Showtime or some. Oh, shit. does it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's it's on some some streaming platforms. I don't know which ones it's, nowadays, but it's so it's funny, on man. Like Freebie or Tubi or something. Yo, I don't big, fucking, just Google it. Big it, money rustler. Big sure money rustlers is. Uh, oh, somebody in the chat says it's free on Tubi. Hell yeah, Tubi's what's up. Tubi. There you go. I know it was yeah. on one of those fucking things, but it, it used to show on Showtime. But I, man, I don't even know. I haven't had cable in years. You Can know you tell saying? me so, just a little bit about making it? You don't got to go down memory lane too much, but just tell no, me. No, it's about all good. I, I love talking about that shit, man. Hell yeah. Because um, we we did the first movie, Big Money, uh, uh, Hustlers, right? Because um, we used to always watch, like you know, remember the Master P, like Bout It Bout It, yeah, and all yeah, that, yeah, and all, all the, the like all those they're damn near home home movie quality, yeah. you know what I mean? And then this one came out called Big Ballers. To this day, that's why I mean Ballers Christmas, Baller Sites, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Ballers was the name of this fucking hood movie that just came out on VHS back in the day, and straight up. It was done on a fucking video camera. You know what I mean? The story, you could tell it wasn't written. It was just all freestyle to the point where dude's like, you want to hit the joint or you want to hit the joint? And the bitch sucks his dick. And I think he was actually getting his dick sucked. You know what I'm saying? It was amazing cinematography. But um, but that we used to be obsessed with that shit, and it had a soundtrack too. Big Ballers yeah. had a soundtrack yeah. to it. That's the so main cool. song was called "Bound to Happen." It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. It was, it was fucking the greatest <laughs> shit on earth. 
And then we were like, yo, we should do a movie like that, you know? Yeah. But then the more we thought about it, we were like, well, we, we're, we're, we, you know, we're not like fucking trying to be gangsters for real and all this shit. We were like, let's just do like a spoof boy, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then um, this is this is back when we were um, when we we were first uh, signed with uh, Island Records. So and, and our we didn't have an A and R. We dealt directly with the president. So when we first signed with them, pretty much whatever the fuck we asked them for, they'd be like, "Yeah, let's let's make it happen." Nice. Know? So we were like, we were like, "Yo, we want to make this fucking movie." And they threw like like I think it was like a million dollars or some shit, you know, the budget and all that. Yeah. Which in movie terms really isn't all that, but it was enough for us to do ours. In big baller saying, terms, cool. it's enough to put on a VHS. Yeah, dog. <laughs> right. So um. So we did that. That was great. And then some years passed, and we wanted to do another one, the the the, the prequel, Big Money uh, Rustlers. You know, we yeah. already had the idea and all that shit. You know, and um, and, but we just we didn't have we we didn't have uh the budget. You know what I'm saying? We we're like, well, fuck, Island paid for the last one. How are we gonna do all this? And um, what happened was we we uh we used to always work with this dude named Roy Soto out of LA yeah. he was special effects dude so like he used to make some of our stages and he makes his own he used to make his I'm not sure if he still does but he would make his own beef you know like at the movie stores back in the day there would be like the main like real movie like uh sucker punch remember that stupid fucking uh -huh. movie yeah and there would be like bitch slap was like the yes. B version yeah with the you same looking saying? same looking cover exactly yeah. it'd be <clears throat> like, like that okay so there was that movie death racers right yeah the real one and then there was the knockoff B flick death racers that we did with Roy Soda. Yeah. And we did it because he was our boy. And we we're like, yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's go. We'll do this, this B flick. You know what I'm saying? He was always using our, our songs in his uh, B flick movies. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? So movies, we were like, a, movies, we were a like, movie, all right, man. let's check it out. It's Hollywood. So the movie was fucking horrible. You know what I'm saying? The people perpetrate, they're like, oh, it was great. I love that movie. But, no, it was bad. You're you know talking about you're talking about uh, uh, Speed Racer, uh, the, the one we yeah, did, the, yeah. the Death Racers, yeah, Death Racers, not yeah. Death Racers, Death Racers. I haven't. I've seen clips of it. I've seen clips. <laughs> the clips look cool, but I haven't seen the whole movie. It's it's. it's I'll not, keep it to the clips. <laughs> <Don't>, yeah, <laughs> you know, you watch it, it'll ruin the clips for you. But but uh, the the cool part about doing that shit though, I, I'm so happy we did that because what that did was that showed us and that taught us. That you don't need to rely on an out, outer, like an out, you know, some bigger company yeah. to make a movie. You know what I'm saying? We were like, well, fuck. Roy Soda can do it. We can fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So we put together our own fucking budget and we used um, uh, Paul Andreessen, who was shooting all our videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? And he actually was the one that uh, shot and directed um, the first video we ever came out with in our career called Shockumentary. And oh, yeah, we yeah. Like, I've seen right. that too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, we but we were working with him for years and years and years and years. You know? Nice. And uh, so 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 uh, easy. Jay wrote the script up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's wild. And then so so Paul like scouted it all out, put together the budget, you know, the day sheets, all that shit, and uh, and we shot it. You know what I mean? And and it was a lot of fun shooting. You know what I'm saying? What you guys? Uh, you guys just went to a little uh, a little western town or something to shoot this? It, it's it was out. Yeah, it's it was like like an hour outside of L.A. somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because like, I've you know, seen like other country, movies and I'm like, that's the same. It seems like they it's like everybody shoots their westerns. Let me tell you something, western, man. So. Whenever you shoot someone at a place like that, that's all you see. What like. Well, every time I see a West, I'm like, oh fuck, that's where that's we shot your little West, town, right? you know? man. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we shot a, We shot uh, a video called Another Love Song at this like little gas station in the middle of the desert. Yeah, I see that fucking place in, in movies and commercials. That same little spot, you know what I'm saying? That's it's wild, crazy. man. But yeah, that 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 little mud bug or whatever, they've used that in a lot yeah. of fucking Western. There's an old, shit. there's an you know, old movies, uh, commercials, all that stuff. There's an old John. It's Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings, and they made a movie. It's like a remake of of um, uh, Stagecoach or something like that. But I think they shot it there, and it looks like the same. It's like a fucking terrible movie, but probably it, it just it's looks like, like, legit, like movie set. Three you know guys I mean? just threw their money together, like let's just rent this place and shoot a movie for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's like they, you know they got like it's, it's made to shoot shit at. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like it's not like an actual old ghost town. It's like actually set up to for people to to film movies and man. whatever the fuck so that uh, that obviously leads to the next i gotta ask the question man is there is there yeah. any chance of a of a third icp movie or uh, can can the big money uh can the big anything money go somewhere is, else anything, 
anything is possible within the infinite realms of yin and yang. <clears throat> yeah, but, baby. <laughs> but like, uh, no, we we definitely, it's definitely, it's on the drawing board. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely a plan of ours before we die. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it took a long time between uh, big money um, hustlers and big money rustlers. I know it's been longer since rustlers and now, but yeah, but uh, we we do want to do it one day. But there's just so many different factors now weighing in as far as like you know the roster of characters and shit. And but if we do do it, we definitely want. Oh, uh, it's it's gonna be a uh, sci-fi like in the future. Yeah, so, you know, since we did like nowadays, we did a western. <laughs> And if we do do it, it's going to be called it's Big Money be. Thrusters. Yeah, Big Money but, Thrusters. Fuck, yeah, put it in the books, man. It'll, it'll be it a in. fucking, it'll be like a B sci-fi. <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? That'd be sick, but, man. Um, that'd be sick. Well, like I said, there's, there's, there's nothing written for it. There's no script or nothing, and there, there's nothing planned and stone for it right yeah, now. But yeah. definitely, it's something that we, we, we want to accomplish before. We're done doing our shit, man. You know well, I, I I only ask because I, I swear to God, man. When I when uh, my takeaway from those movies is that like you're an exceptionally good actor. Everybody everybody makes me laugh. Everybody does a fantastic job, <clears throat> but I don't know how you. I, I've I've tried to do stuff and tried to follow directions and stuff. I'm not good at it, but uh, you seem to have a, you know, a knack I, for it. That's that. Yeah, that's weird because like I don't feel like I'm that good of an actor at all. <laughs> you know what I'm watch, saying? I, go like, back and watch Rustlers again, man, and just be like, man, who is this? Clint Eastwood, Juggalo? Yeah, it's I mean, wild. there. I would, I would never want to like, like try to like cross over and start doing movies or no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if a motherfucker called me, it was like, yo, we got this role for you, and it was worth my time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The money was right and all. A that, Star you know? Is Born remake and, uh, with Shaggy. What is a Star is Born? It's what that the <laughs> it's that big movie uh, that's been remade a bunch. They just did it with Lady, Wait, Lady, that... Lady Gaga and Brad, Bradley Cooper made it a couple. Oh years God, ago. Yeah. yeah, that was like what Bette Midler and fucking yeah. not Bette Midler, but yeah, was no, it Bette, Bette Midler, Bette Midler and Chris yeah. Christopherson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember seeing that before all the remakes. I was, <laughs> Fuck, that's a good fucking movie though. I'll, do it I'll again. Do that one. Do it again. I'll be with... the chick though. I'll play like the chick's <laughs> role, and like some broad can like put me on. <laughs> <laughs> hey then, man, yeah. Hollywood could sell anything, man. Hand. Hey, yeah, everything's like all woke and shit nowadays, right? Twenty twenty four. So you got it. Yeah, nothing would be more woke, woke than woke. having a remake <laughs> and, and have a female character be Shaggy Two Dope. That's uh, uh right. I mean, talk oh, about a, a chick. Talk about There's a down something. and out, a down and out crew. The clowns in general. I mean, we need to, you know, yeah. we need to be lifted up. I'll, I'll, I'll grow my hair out and dye it light blue. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be beautiful, man. Get a nose hoop and fucking yell at people. <laughs> Dog, I, I, uh, I, I can't wait. And I'll be called them, and I'll get a pronoun as them. <laughs> you know, fuck it. I'll be, I'll be an it. You know Just what I'm saying? The, ain't yeah, ain't nobody the... out there it's. I'll be a fucking it. The first You're like, it. oh, there it goes. Yeah. That's right, man. And then get fuck re- that. I'm going I'm I'm to choose my pronoun. I'm a fucking it. Everybody got that? It's official. Be, when, when I'm around, be like, hey, here it comes. Here like it comes. <laughs> here it comes. Give me my fucking ring music. My, my hey, man, that's Come your I'm truth, buddy. I'm not going to I'm not gonna challenge comes. you, man. <laughs> or or you could just call me Snake. So hey, be like, call it, me yeah, Snake. It or Snake. Let's go with Snake. I won't identify as a snake, but you can just call me Snake. How about you get body mod and just become a snake? Cut your arms off. No, fuck man. You ever see those fucking weirdos? There, there's one asshole. I just saw out one there. the other day. Yeah, online. I Ooh, saw some. There's, you see the motherfucker that tries to look like an alien? Like he ain't got no Yeah, he nose cut his no nose more? off. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, even look at that. Picture. I know. What the? What? The I know. It's hard fuck? to look at. Just his nose is just hanging, hanging out. Then there's those assholes that got the big fucking like gauge in their cheeks so you can see their teeth and all that. Yeah, what the uh, fuck? How do the meatballs the not fucking, just fall out of the uh, side of your mouth? I don't know, man. Look, how do you I, fucking <laughs> stop yourself from drooling? You got a fucking rag or something? Cut? Oh man. Obviously, uh, this is and this is me and you talking. We're pretty extreme guys in a lot of ways. You know, you, we walk into a Walgreens yeah, but, or a CVS, people think we're weird, but we're we, we're here to say there is a line. I got a fucking nose. <laughs> God, you know the, line, the line is you got to keep your nose. It, it just keep the, right. front, keep the front of it or at least put a fake front of it on or something. I mean, when you when you cut your nose off and you just got those two whole boys in your face, uh, that's when you, you know you're a weirdo. The look, man. First one. I'm saying cut your arms off. Be a snake. Put on, put, you'll have to put uh, deodorant on your shoulders. 
<laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if you, if you cut your arm, both arms off. Like in the middle of your side, you just have yeah. a big patch of hair. Yeah, you're just one one <laughs> like big armpit. armpit <laughs> man. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you next week and say, yo, some I just seen a guy just cut his arms off, man. Look at this. <laughs> right, yeah, snake boy. <laughs> it's coming. Fuck. It's- that fucking see now uh, that alien guy. Oh man. Ugh. And see that goes it, back you to know- the the crazy stuff that you see at the gathering, you know. I mean, some people think it's it's uh it, 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 and I have seen some some things close to people cutting their noses off. I've never seen anybody okay, cut their okay. nose off, but if, if that alien shows up at the gathering, I'm gonna have to ask him to leave. <laughs> Just <laughs> I'll be like, look, man, yo, this is I the first time. Look at you. This is the first time this has ever happened, but you gotta <laughs> right. Everybody's but welcome. I, I Everybody's just, welcome except for you, man. <laughs> I can't be comfortable knowing you're here <laughs> with your fucking nose gone purposely. <laughs> no, if it like burnt off in a fire, whatever. No, make what's he gonna do? What's he gonna theater? do to your nose if that's what he did to his own nose for Probably crying out? Probably bite the fuck off like a yeah. weirdo. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nose, he's fuck. a nose eater. <laughs> yeah, that, that's uh, one other thing I, I wanted to say about the gathering too. That um, I actually touched on on, on my show. Um, a couple streams ago was uh the uh man if 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 you're one of those assholes shooting mortars and blowing off like the fucking fireworks like that and shooting them in the middle of the fucking crowd and that stage and all that shit man you need to fuck off with that shit you know what i'm saying I've seen, yo, <laughs> as as a as a guy that is you know you guys have been so nice to put me in so many situations where people can shoot fireworks at me. And so I got to say, I got to say, that, I mean, everybody's so, you know, from what I've seen uh, happen to other people, I'm, I'm fucking blessed. You know, I get a coin or some, or some ice or a, a, a bottle That's what rocket I'm saying. or something. It's, think about that. You, but you're, I've seen you're some like serious blessed that you shit. haven't been hit by a fucking yeah. mortar fucking cannon firework yeah. you know what i'm saying no nah, and i've man, seen cut that shit out. i've seen and groups I, I, i'll say like this if you if you see a motherfucker like that don't just stand by and let him do it fucking stop that shit you know what I'm saying they'll be like what the fuck is the matter with you dumb word ass? and I, I, i'll tell you this if i see a motherfucker doing that with my eyes I, i'm gonna treat you like the fucking alien you're gonna yeah. have to leave jump off stage <laughs> you know axel rose mean? style and bite his nose off straight up Man, I've had those mortars blow off like fucking inches from me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can feel the fucking just, what's that called? A concussion of them and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We yeah, that's, there's, there's, enough just, there's enough to worry about. There's enough to worry about. It's just not cool no more. It's a fucking waiting lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gets hit with that. I saw somehow, yellow. I saw yellow. Somehow, some motherfucker, yeah, yeah. And it's somehow like somebody shoots a motherfucker in the crowd with one of those and they fucking get hurt by that. I'm getting sued somehow, and I didn't have nothing to do with this shit. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Cut it out, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's one <laughs> thing. Lawsuits. Yeah. I, I, I want to get money. I don't want to fucking hand out all this money in lawsuits, man. My <laughs> whole life is one big fucking lawsuit. <laughs> Cut it out. Uh, yeah, man, over it's, here, man. You've been, you've been, you've been, it seems like, you know, you've been pretty good at staying out of trouble these days, but uh, yeah, it, 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 a lawsuit could happen easily with these with these out of control but things. But you don't you don't need to be doing nothing wrong to get sued. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lawyer nowadays will just take your case just off your word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he'll work it. The only way because he's getting paid if you get paid. And you can just get a lawyer and be like, yo, I want to sue this motherfucker. He's like, all right, let's go. Let's sue this motherfucker then. Yeah. You know? And and here goes the fucking tactic because like it costs less to just pay a motherfucker off a set, even if they're in the fucking wrong. You <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's no way they'd win in court. But the thing is, taking it to trial costs so much goddamn money with lawyers and all that shit. Yeah. It's easier just being like, look, here goes your fucking five grand, you cockroach. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You bottom feeding piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? There, fucking scurry off now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's so many little fucking all over the place with that shit is crazy you yeah know what I'm saying? And, uh, i mean this, I, this one bitch this one bitch snuck backstage right snuck backstage got up on the stage and cut her fucking leg on a fucking stage prop and somehow we got our asses sued from that what? this bitch snuck <laughs> snuck backstage admittedly you know what I'm and saying? not even the ve- the venue didn't even get the blame huh no! They just said Fuck. the insane yeah. clown posse's involved. Let's pin them. We'll Google their net worth and take a chunk of that. Brutal ones with the money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not anymore, because we fucking 20 other people just did that. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, Fuck, man. man. I'm about to start suing motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to get some money. And won't you be a lawyer? Uh, Fuck be... being a lawyer. I'm going to sue people. Oh, you'd just be the sewer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's easy. I come from the sewer. <laughs> I'll remain the sewer. The there sewer. you go. <laughs> the and South you can be the sewer. sewer. Yeah, man. Hey, sue no, me yo, in the sewer. We got a liability on this. You can't. You're not allowed to sue me because of what you signed before the show. You can't sign. You can't uh, sue me for this. I wouldn't sue you, but Thanks. I will. I will sue your associates. <laughs> <laughs> sue, sue the chat. Anybody in the chats, you're all liable for there anything go. that goes the wrong. Chat is fucked now. <laughs> I can't even see the chat on my end, but I'm suing every single one of them. Trust. He's he's gonna find out and he's gonna come after you. The sewer. He's gonna cut his arms off and sue your ass. <laughs> I'll play. I'll be like, yo, this motherfucker cut my arms off. It was him. It's their fault. Clown just right. mentioned it. The chat got behind it. They're to blame. Right. And then he <laughs> cut my fucking arms off. Now I just got fucking hair spots that are supposed to be armpits chilling. <laughs> you got to grow that hair real long so it starts to look like an arm if you braid it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It just got hair arms. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, yo, Shaggy, the uh, let's say one more time the um, the the quest for the ultimate groove tour heading to Canada in uh, just a couple weeks, and then powering starts back. in London, London, Ontario on April third. Beautiful. Day. So yeah, it's like less than I think like two weeks. And London, yeah, maybe one day less than two weeks. I'm London, sure. Ontario sounds so exotic, but that's like uh, thirty minutes from <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know how far it is, but yeah, it's definitely not the same as London, uh, England. Yeah, nah, <laughs> man. I, I hope you guys have a killer time up there. Who are you bringing on that tour with you? I saw DJ Clay is going to be behind you. Who else you got? Yeah, Clay. Clay is always going out with me. Um, who who else? Who else is going going out on that? We we got like some spot dates from a couple different people. Yeah. Oh, who who's that? Who's on that shit? Um, Otis Julius. Otis Julius. Otis Julius. And and Bake Low. Bake and, uh, and then um, who, who's the? Uh, uh, yeah, Golden BSP. Will oh, be he's, yeah, he's cool too. as hell, man. I like that guy. Yeah, no doubt. I think he's doing like seven of the dates or something like that, or five or seven or something like that. Sick. But yeah, it's about to be dope, man. Six dates. Look at that, right in between. Yeah, spot right there. Five, of them, six of them. But um, yeah, it's about to be dope, man. Like I said, after that, after that is over. Uh, I think April thirtieth is the last show. It wraps up in Chicago, nice. and then um. I think four days later starts the uh, Psychopathic Soldier Tour. And uh, that first, where's that first show at? Is that in Columbus, Missouri? Today, Junior. Everybody follow Shaggy online because I know you post this uh, and we got Did I get that right? Springfield. Oh, Springfield, Missouri. Springfield. Oh, that's a juggalo town, man. They got got some juggalo action down there. Yeah, no doubt, man. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It Man, we're about to have a lot of fun these next couple months. Uh, You know what I'm saying? If you come out, you're guaranteed to have a fucking awesome time. You know what I'm saying? I believe it. You're about to hear all the fucking jams. Uh, we're doing meet and greets at them all. You know, and I'm doing the meet and greets different. Even if they're not for sale, like on the internet or whatever the fuck, we still will. They'll be available there. And I I do them after the show. You know what I mean? Because oh, that cool. way, it's more laid back. You get more time to kick <clears> with <throat> people and shit. You know, you're not in a rush and all that. Not shit. worried about it. But, yeah, I get that. That's cool. Yeah. So um. Yeah. So a lot of fun, man. That's cool, man. And uh, so everybody follow Shaggy. Look at the handle right there, at uh, Shaggy.icp on Instagram. Yes, sir. And, uh, man, thank you so much, homie, for making time with us. And I can't wait to see you face-to-face. And uh, I can't believe it took us this long to get online together. We've been doing this shit uh, side-by-side. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck, man. That's crazy, right? (laughs) I don't know neither. You're going to have to come on my show one of these days. Hell yeah, man. Well, thank you so much, Shaggy. I'm going to let you go, buddy. Thank you, brother. And uh, Hell yeah, man. We'll uh, we'll see you out there on the road, brother. Hell yeah. Clownvis in the motherfucking ass. Peace out. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Shaggy Too Dope. Give him a round of applause. Before everybody leaves, let me tell you, go to clownvis2therescue.com. We just got a new size run of those t-shirts. If you want a Clownvis t-shirt and you didn't get one before, clownvis2therescue.com. Also in stock, Clownvis banana beans also in stock. Clownvis cotton candy, body spray, and so much more at clownvistotherescue.com. Thank you to the mighty, mighty Shaggy 2 Dope. A flawless interview, technically. Tech-wise, 
Not a problem. We scared the ghost out of the system. I scared the ghost out of the system. Uh, I sent uh, I sent the crew to Applebee's tonight, so I don't have anybody here with me. I'm in the studio alone. There was a ghost, but I scared him away. <laughs> Look, man, I uh, am going to go ahead and end this show on a high note. Ah! Do a couple quick shout outs. And I love you guys. I want to say I'm looking right now. Uh, let me look back because there was a couple super chats. John W. Davis, thank you so much for saying hit that thumb button. Everybody do that now. Everybody go ahead and hit that like button while you're here. We appreciate it. Actually, I don't care. It means nothing to me. It is exceptionally a uh, 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 bright, shining nothing to me if there's uh, thumbs and, and likes. But it does pump that old-fashioned Al Gore rhythm that Bob YouTube loves down to the bone. So if you want to do the right thing, hit that thumb button. It's free, baby. Da 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 do 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 do. Uh, what a night! Appreciate you guys all hanging out tonight. Big thank you to Shaggy. Funny guy, and if I can leave you with anything, I mean, you gotta go, honestly go back and watch Big Money Rustlers, the Western one. They're both funny. But the slap scene, the slap scene in the jail, where 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 where, where Sugar Wolf is slapping, uh, slapping fools like crazy, that's funnier than any any uh, Three Stooges or any anything that I've seen. And I like to think I'm somewhat of a judge in funny. I didn't go to funny school, but I. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Let me read just a couple super chats. Uh, I mean, a couple uh, shout outs here. Only uh, two little guys. One important one and one not important one. Let's start with the not important one. A super shout out from the homie Ken Tronkway. Tr uh, how do you say that? Trom Tromway. Anyway, uh, Ken says, type your shout out here. Oh, no, wait, that says that. Sorry, Ken. Here it goes. Dearest Clown, this is a shout out to Allison Perry for reminding us all that today is World Frog Day. It's an important day dedicated to raising awareness for frogs and amphibians. It's almost like Christmas for everyone at our show. After polling each and every one of our viewers, we decided that we would forgive you for last week's late start and audio issues. We know you're not a technical clown. Jesus Christ, this is long. To show that I personally harbor no ill will or hard feelings. I had a beard delivered to you last night via my junior production intern, Tony Baloney. Love, Ken. Emoji, 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 emoji. Thank you, Ken. I did get your beard last night. Um, I was hosting a bingo night, having a good old time at the Headless Bat last night. <laughs> that was last night? No. Uh, we had too much fun. Me and Dracula had too much fun last night at the Headless Bat in St. Louis. Bingo is not supposed to be that fun. But it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they did bring me the beer. And unfortunately, I was drinking bush beer. And you brought you bought me something weird, like a linen kugel or something like that. So I just told the bartender, just pour that down the sink and give me the cash for it. <laughs> I didn't. I drank it. Thank you, Ken. And from our friend Little Aaron. Little Aaron, sorry we didn't get to have you on the show tonight. I uh, did not want to cut Shaggy interview off. I was having so much fun there. And I also don't want to uh, push my luck because we uh, we should quit while we're ahead on a show like this. So thank you very much. Little Aaron has a shout out. <clears throat> Hi, Clowny V. Can I please give a shout out to spring? Spring is the season of growth and development. Let's all be what we want to see. We can do so many good things, especially together. Peace and love, peace and love. Little Aaron, 
the Ringo Star of the Clownvis community. Write that down. Somebody write that down. Um, I see you in the chat, Aaron. Thank you. Uh, to everybody who joined us tonight, thank you, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the program. Really trying to streamline our uh, guest options. I have a lot of people that I feel like I could bring on, but I want the technical aspect to be pretty foolproof. So in order to figure out what is foolproof and what is not, I have had to poke holes in my own system and plug those holes. And tonight was a uh, exhibition in success. Tonight, on full display, a old-fashioned exposition of success. <laughs> Thank you all so much, man. I love you guys. And uh, obviously, you're with me through the thick and thin, and that means the world to me. Give me some sad music. Hey. Come here. Come here. Bring it in. Hey. Psst. You guys mean the world to me. I see it. Through thick and thin. You guys are the weasels on the wheel that keeps me spinning. Now, I've said this a thousand times or more. Even if you guys weren't here, <clears throat> I would still be doing this. I'd be yelling into the void. Like a blind man reaching for a whatever he wants, a donut or whatever the hell he is looking for. That's what I would be. But I'm not a blind man looking for a donut because you guys are there. So if metaphorically I'm a blind guy and metaphorically you're a donut and I do this, well, by God, I touch something. By God, then it doesn't even matter that I'm a blind guy because my senses are activated because I'm touching the donut. You are the donut. You are the sixth sense. We are the sixth sense because I know this is reciprocal. I can tell you guys enjoy the show. What I'm doing now in a very sideways metaphor that probably doesn't make any sense is trying to explain that we're in this together. And if you're looking for a donut, they're not that hard to find. You just gotta look up. My name's Clownvis. Your name is whatever the hell your name is. And I'll see you next week. I thought the show was over. <coughs> Did
Did I not end the show? I thought it was over, but I looked up and the chats are still on. You guys ever watch that ASMR stuff on uh, TikTok where there's like a gal and she just eats into the microphone? Uh, probably, probably not for everybody. Okay. If that's the best I got, then I should have just ended it. I, if I'm not going to do anything but eat into the microphone. 